Hello everyone and welcome to the Q30 Sports Report. I'm Paige Van Voort, here to take you through all the action from this past week in Quinnipiac sports. Let's get started. At the beginning of the spring season, the Quinnipiac Bobcats had already won two MAC championships thanks to the men's soccer and field hockey teams. Quinnipiac has now added a third MAC title as the women's tennis team defeated Fairfield 4-1 to win the MAC championship. The team dominated in conference play going undefeated. The win was capped by a come from behind victory by number two singles player Jacqueline Rayner. Rayner went on to be named the 2014 MAC Championship's most outstanding player. The Bobcats now head to the NCAA tournament for the seventh time in the last 11 years. The men's lacrosse team entered the weekend on a four game losing streak with a spot in the playoffs up in the air. The team took on Air Force over the weekend on senior day. The Bobcats would end their season on a positive note, defeating Air Force 15 to 10. Gil Connors had a big game recording 18 saves on 28 shots. Also, Matt Deal pitched in with four goals while Ryan Keenan had three goals. Despite the win, the Bobcats still missed the playoffs. They finished the season in a five-way tie with Canisius, Detroit, Marist, and Manhattan. In order to make the playoffs, Quinnipiac needed Marist to lose to Canisius this weekend or a Marist victory by seven goals or more. Maris ended up defeating Canisius by six goals, knocking the Bobcats out of the postseason. The women's lacrosse team also wrapped up their season this weekend up in Niagara against the Purple Eagles. The Bobcats fell to Niagara 15 to 11. The difference in this was in the first half. The Purple Eagles outscored the Bobcats eight to four. Quinnipiac scored four consecutive goals to start the second half, tying the game at eight. But the Purple Eagles went on to a seven to three run win to win the game. Despite the loss, Kira Aqua had another five goals for the Bobcats, bringing her season total to 44. Quinnipiac will miss out on that MAC championships, finishing with two and six MAC record. Heading into this week, the baseball team was on a nine-game winning streak. However, the streak came to an end on Tuesday in a five-to-three loss to Hartford. The losing didn't stop there, as the team dropped their next game to UConn and were swept in a three-game series by Radford. However, the Bobcats are still 10-3 in MAC play and are in second place. Up next for Quinnipiac is a game against UMass and a three-game series against Canisius. The softball team was also in action this week, picking up a win at home against Sacred Heart on Thursday. Jordan Pellucci hit a solo homer and Paige Junta had an RBI double. The Bobcats then went to Maris for a doubleheader on Saturday. Quinnipiac dropped both games. Their in-conference record falls to 5-11 and the team sits outside the playoff picture in ninth place. Now for some men's ice hockey news. From this past week, the team has named their captains for the next season. They will be senior defenseman Dan Federico and senior forward Matthew Pekka. Pekka led the Bobcats in assists last year while also surpassing the 100-point mark. Frederico was a finalist this past season for ECAC Hockey Best Defensive Defenseman. The two will succeed Corey Hibbler, who served as the team's captain for this past season. Well, that's going to do it for another Q30 Sports Report. Don't forget to check out the Q30 Sports Special that will air later this week. The show will recap the winter season and also discuss what we've seen so far in the spring. Also, stay updated with everything Quinnipiac Sports by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter at Q30 Sports. Also, check out the rest of our content at Q30Television.com. For all of us here at Q30 Sports, I'm Paige Van Boer. We'll see you next time.